I am a broken man, dude. I am a broken man. Every single time, I think this map cannot become more and more broken. Speedrunners have discovered yet another tech that is going to change this map forever. Ladies and gentlemen, boys and girls, let me introduce you to the world's first 20 minute, I'm not, not 2058, not 2035, 20 minutes flat speed run in order for anyone to beat this time on Shadows of Evil, world record Easter egg solo, they are going to have to beat this map in 19 minutes. A time starting at 1-9, previously unthinkable, unfathomable for zombies, has been discovered for this new method. I want you to take note of a lot of things he's doing here. He has already gotten the very first symbol for uh, opening up the sword and getting the sword room open, and I want you to really, really pay attention to this because there's something that is going to blow your mind here in a second. He is going to go ahead and use this human form grapple glitch where you can grapple in human form in order to get over here so he doesn't have to run down the hallway or anything like that. This is all just micro optimizations of time so that every single second he is doing something. It takes a lot longer to run all the way around the backside and come up into this room. Why do that when you can grapple from the monster form into the human form and get into this room and finish it off? Now, if you notice as well, this run has always started, always started with raindrops. And if you notice... He is not using raindrops. This is a new form of this tactic where you can actually finish these rounds with just a nuke, progress the rounds as quickly as possible because A, you need points, and B, you need to be finishing off and getting lots of zombie souls for later steps. You want to progress the rounds as quickly as possible. Here comes the second part of the brand new thing that has been discovered for this map. Check this out right here. So he opens up all the things. This is all just normal beast form stuff. He jumps across over here. He looks and gets the second symbol. So now he knows what the second symbol for the sword is. Pretty cool. We've known about this glitch for a while where you can jump on top of the rooftops with the beast form. He does a little glitch so he can run more in the beast form since you run a lot faster than the beast form. He opens up this portal. This is different, Noah. Why is he going in this portal? Well, let me tell you, ladies and gentlemen, there has been a new method or trick, or maybe he is just guessing. He just opened up the sword symbol area with only checking two different symbols. Previously never done in a world record speed run, he has just absolutely changed the game. Freckleson is the absolute GOAT. By the way, he's, his channel is going to be down below in the description. Go down and subscribe to him right now because he might just be the Shadows of Evil GOAT. We literally just watched on my second channel the brand new perfect origins world record which is not going to be beaten for a very very long time that reaction video went up on my second channel and literally days later here we are watching the almost perfect shadows of evil run he thinks the sub 20 is possible aka getting 19 minutes something seconds we'll see because this run is very, very close to being the absolute pinnacle of zombies. This is, usually you would have to do another trick to get to the third sword symbol, which is sitting right next to where he is. You would like grapple up there and then jump off the side and then you would be able to actually see the third symbol there and actually grab it. For some reason, no longer is that the case. You no longer need to do this and the map has been just absolutely changed forever. So here we go. He grabs perfectly his gobble gum. He places the apothecan egg, which is just crazy that he is filling up the i want you to think about that for a second he is filling up the apothecan egg right now before he has even opened up the 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 pack a punch area he hasn't even opened up most of the map he is very 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 meticulous about filling up this egg and all of these new areas because this route has changed so much since the last time we watched a world record speed run so here we go second symbol filling up right now and you're gonna see him actually use this anywhere but here i believe at the end he really wants to get out of this area as quickly as possible because this is one of the most isolated areas of the map which makes it really really nice that he has this anywhere but here he's trying to fit out the round as much as possible he actually probably wants to flip the round here there he goes flips the round gets the symbol completed go and grab this and then i believe he is going to immediately anywhere but here and try to get to the next gateworm area there it is gets out of that probably not the best anywhere but here but pretty darn good i mean the only thing that could have been better is like right here in front of the canal district so here we go and i'm wondering if he's gonna use this method to actually fill up the souls of the sword thing while he is in this area because this is this is an old trick here he's gonna go ahead and open that up open that up become a human again 
place the egg and yes he is going to fill up the souls from inside of this ritual which is just such a time optimization the first time this happened it literally blew my mind he is going to get the kills in this corner and because he's getting these kills in the corner it is within the radius of like the egg soul suck collection area and he's going to be filling this up and probably have this egg completed before the ritual is even completed which is incredibly incredibly useful there we go egg completed and ritual also completed he has the margua heads grabs the key from there again and then he is going to jump down and grab this egg really nice movement there dude there's so many just micro like time saves and everything that was like keeping his momentum also doing like a 180 in midair i don't even know how you do movement like that that's crazy also best part of the the video is a little capybara down there <laughs> <laughs> absolutely absolutely love this let me turn up the volume a little bit so we can so we can hear a little bit more he, he said uh the, the first part of his discord call was unhinged so we we, we muted for that i don't know what that means but <laughs> uh here we go we're gonna see a spawn manipulation that is actually one of the oldest tricks in the book here for getting all of these zombies to just basically every single zombie from the entire round will be forced to spawn in that small little area there and allows you to fill up the eggs as quickly as possible this, shadows of evil spawn manipulations are some of the coolest things i i think one of the, my one of the saddest parts about zombies is that they have these really really cool like spawning methods in shadows of evil and the giant that they never used again for the other maps that allowed you to like essentially put yourself into certain areas look into a certain area and it would force all of the zombies in the map to spawn in, in like a direct proximity to you which made easter egg speed running when you have to like find zombie souls and everything like that made it really 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 special and really cool so unfortunately unfortunately they did take away take that away um uh, like in in later maps they went to a different spawning system another anywhere but here uh he didn't like that one completely but it is still going to be much much faster than you know running his way out of here obviously it would have been best to get the top of the crazy place there we go sword in and i can't believe we're saying the sword is finished before he even has the ritual room open grabs raindrops here he's gonna go ahead and try to put some bullets into this margua but again he is not going to be wasting any time here god that always just makes me so nervous for how quickly they jump over there obviously they have the timing down dude he is such so like Pinnacally time saved here that he knows exactly when he can be shooting at this Margo weakening it up and then when he needs to be like running around so this part right here he's gonna have like kind of be locked into this uh cutscene if you will he really can't do anything to speed this up at all he's saving the Margo for some reason not really sure why usually I would think they would just take out the Margo there but maybe that maybe finishing the ritual automatically kills the Margo so it wasn't wasting any more bullets on it I know Margo's still alive. I wonder if we're gonna see why he actually decided to keep this Margo here. Exits out of the portal, and he needs to go and activate the book now. I'm very confused as to why he left the Margo here. Let's see. Let's let's see if it becomes apparent here. Grabs the, or sorry, not the not the book yet. He needs to grab the uh, the upgrade. Wait, did he just shoot the Margwa's leg in order to kill the last zombie? What in... Dog, I feel like Nero, what is happening? <laughs> Wait, I'm so confused. He uses spawn manipulations to actually manipulate all the spawns of the bugs to right next to him. He needs to get two insta-kills on these Margwa's here. There we go. Okay, so he does finish off this Margwa. He just needs to finish off this Margwa. Finishes off this Margwa before the round technically flips. So he is already done with two levels of the Arch Ovum egg upgrade quest here. And he's on to the third round. The reason this is so important, also another little bit of RNG. If he got early uh, bugs there, if he got bugs on an earlier round, he was he was like screwed over. It, it was it was the run was over, but he literally got them absolutely perfectly here. So he's gonna go ahead and kill these two Margos here. 
and he needs to actually kill all these bugs. Wow, he even knows exactly which direction the bugs are gonna fly. That is how optimized this, this map is at this point. He knows exactly how to kill them because every single one of those bugs, if it flies away and gets away, it'll turn into an extra zombie spawn that you have to kill before ending the round. So he's absolutely trying as quickly as possible to kill those bugs and not let them get away. So right now he is on to the part where he needs to end the round. He's gonna go ahead and hit the nuke. Is that enough to end the round immediately or is he gonna be doing some other stuff while this round is tech? Wow, that was enough to end the round. Dude, that nuke was so big. Okay, here we go. So we, he, he now has waterfront. Okay. If I remember correctly, this is actually where he said in the description of the video that the waterfront Margwa trolled him. Ow. Oh, the, all that. oh my goodness. The, he only got one head. <laughs> He's mad. <laughs> yeah, 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 yeah. Wow, but a perfect anywhere but here. Unfucking believable, man. <laughs> He's so mad. <laughs> I literally saw this because in the description of this video, if only that waterfront Margo behaved. He's literally the biggest, you just witnessed the biggest time loss. Wow, that you could human grapple that glitch that far? That's actually so fire. What is he doing here? Is this another spawn manipulation? I've never seen this one before. Wait, that's an insane spawn manipulation. It stops too many from spawning in like farther away areas and then you have to just wait for them to walk all the way up here. That is such a good spawn manipulation. What? Also, he he's so mad because that was where he could have got the sub 20. So the sub 20, 100% possible. Okay, like just keep fucking my ass, man. It's <laughs> funny. It's so cool, actually. Great anywhere but here. I mean, not that it really needed to be anywhere in particular, but literally right next to the flag is not bad. Got some more nukes. This is such a scary part to watch always because this flag is so just like, it's so weak, dude. It's so weak. So he's not even going to go check the gobble gum there. And the reason he's not going to check the gobble gum there is because he knows which where he is in the cycle and he knows whatever is coming out of there is probably I think it's either a perkaholic no it's literally a perkaholic which he doesn't need he's gone through the gum cycle twice now so he, he's literally just All skipping right. that uh, two ones okay. okay clean flag defending so far He's not going for any more gobblegum hits because I believe the gobblegum at this point is too expensive for what he needs for the rest of the map. Dude, it's a good thing this flag step is an RNG. It would really ruin this whole Easter egg speed run if dumb stuff like that was RNG, but it, that, that is always, always the same. Okay. And puts the flag there. He's gonna stand here again, trying to get the fast response. And surely this ends the round, right? Yeah, okay, perfectly. Okay, so he has the round finished. He now needs to do three more flag steps. He does have the Margwa in the map here, which cannot be understated how actually difficult it is to do the flag step when you have the Margwa trying to attack you at the same time. Is he doing a spawn manipulation first? So he actually wants to stay in here. Or wall power could have been the other gobblegum. I, I, I forgot he was running wall power as well, which he no longer is going to be using. So he's going to grab and put a nuke there. He got, he got a perkaholic from there. So he wants to thin out the round as much as possible to where it gets to essentially... Oh my god, he's really spending on the, on the points here. He got nukes back. He's gonna grab the flag, nuked basically the entire round here. But but essentially, from what I learned last time I watched this Easter egg speed run, the round has no zombies left in it right now. So that's where we're at. The round has no zombies left in the entire round right now. 
Also, does that do damage to the flag? I don't think it does, right? Or does it? Okay, his flag is absolute one shot. I mean, obviously he defends it, but... Oh, I heard, I heard the ding. Wait, that wasn't the ding? The flag is about to die. Woo! God, oh my God. That was, that was scary there. That was probably the closest the run came to just being flat out over. I think it was one hit from dying. Anyway, um, uh, from what I learned, he essentially has zero like zombies in the round right now. The round technically should be over, but since he picked up the flag to start the Easter egg step, it started spawning in these meatballs, which is uh, basically holding the round over. As soon as this step is done, it is going to realize, hey, we no longer have meatballs and there's zero zombies. The round should be over. And then the game is going to end the round and go to the next round as quickly as possible so that he can essentially be ready to go. Like, it's such an interesting way to kill the zombies as quickly as possible and have the round change be happening while you're running rather than the round change be happening when you're waiting for the flag or like waiting for zombie spawns and stuff like that. Grabs the nuke right there. So maybe he was worried about having an extra one or two zombies and he actually just dropped the nuked anyway because he... <laughs> he's running a codename pizza name. I'm dead. It's so funny. <laughs> so there we go. Grabs the last flag. And he also has a bug round this round, which is very interesting for the run. Drops the nuke there. I wonder if that is actually going to like kill out all the bugs for the round and it's gonna do this kind of the same the same method that I just explained there a second ago. Okay. Argo head dead. He is locked in right now. He is absolutely locked the F in. Okay. Beautiful. That was a really clean first flag, especially considering there was a Margua and no sword as well. Yeah, I was about to say, should uh, we should switch to our uh, 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 shotgun. Uh, yeah, I, I, so he just said, I won't go for gum. Like, I, I think because this flag is already so weak, he doesn't want to risk losing the run and going for another gobble gum hit because there's a gobble gum machine right there, but it's pretty much a guaranteed hit or two. Dude, even with how absolutely insane this run is, I, I know that he's going to want a faster time there. There's a few things that went wrong in this run. Okay, so now he is... He's trying to end this round as quickly as possible. Because now these are the actual meatballs for the round. Okay, there we go. We saw the max ammo. That's it. It's a bad gobblegum hit there. Basically, if he sees a yellow, he doesn't want any of the yellow drops. Ends the round. Okay, here we go. I don't know when this thing spawns in. Gets the raindrops, which is huge. It's gonna be really, really big for that. Uh, it's not quick enough. I really wanna see his reaction to realizing he didn't get the, oh, he picks up the anywhere but here. I really wanna see him. I really wanna see his reaction to getting the 20 minutes exactly, I'm not the sub 20. I really wanna see his reaction. 20 flat? Freckleson is literally such a perfectionist. He will literally get the world record and be mad about it. I already know he's going to be mad. <laughs> okay. Second flag down. That's some good aim right there. He's doing so many weapon swaps. He's doing so many weapon swaps. Not, not only just weapon swaps, but mule kick weapon swaps. I'd be so nervous about doing this many weapon swaps. You have to, because you have to triple tap your switch weapon button. All right. Got it. Okay. 
Oh my god, he kind of ice skated off that meatball there. That was kind of scary. Okay. Three, four. Ah! Go, go, go. Please go on one side. Please, 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 please. He, he literally needs good, R, good RNG for beating this now. No. Oh, oh my god, dude, he's so mad. He literally missed two shotgun shots in order to get the sub 20 there. Nonetheless, listen, he's he's gonna beat himself up. We on this channel are gonna applaud him. Freckleson's link will be down below in the description. What an absolute goat. Never in my life, when we beat Shadows of Evil, did I think that the solo record would go down to 20 minutes? The next time, if ever, this speed run is beaten, it will be in a time that starts in a 1-9. Absolutely unreal. Ladies and gentlemen, boys and girls, if you would also like to go see the new Origins World Record solo speed run, link to that will also be down below in the description on my second channel. Until next time, Shadows of Evil, I hate that I love you so much. Best map of all time. Goodbye.